Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I do want to give you guys a quick update and let you guys know that from here on out, I will be uploading every Tuesday and every Friday. So you guys don't have to be guessing. You don't have to wait for that notification to hit you. Now you're going to know for sure that every Tuesday and Friday I will be uploading. I've been trying to grab a hold of all the millions of things that I need to get done, but I am definitely trying the best I can to grow this channel. Um, all of you guys, my old subscribers and new ones, welcome. And thank you so much for the support and love you guys have provided for my channel. We are growing this channel together. So thank you guys very much. So anyways, let's get into your reading Sagittarius. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for the month of June, 2018. Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising. All right, Sagittarius. All right. So your general energy here is the world card. You have the world card, and this could be a pass and passing type of energy. It is the general energy that you're going into June. Um, so there's a lot of endings for you, Sagittarians. A lot of completions, a lot of karmatic type of energy, karmatic cycles. For a lot of you guys, it could be actually the ending of a lot of relationships. But for others of you guys, it's taking it to the next level and actually committing yourself to the relationship. Uh, for others of you guys that have been going to college or have been um, taking up on new studies or whatnot, there's definitely a completion for the month of June. Uh, it could be if you recently enrolled or planning, uh, recently have been planning to go back to school. It could be that there is an ending in regards to where you're at in life now and it's time to progress and start new studies or new beginnings. For others of you guys, it could represent um, travel. So let's see what spirit has for you guys. Wow. Okay. So your first card here, uh, Sagittarius, is the death card. So the death card, again, like I said, it just, you know, clarified uh, with the world card. There's a lot of endings happening major transformations. There is a need of expansion, a need for growth. For others of you guys, you may be dealing with a Scorpio for the month of June. Uh, that's going to be very prominent. Um, but I feel that more than anything with the death card, there's a lot of transformation happening with you guys. Uh, again, like I said, a lot of endings, but also a lot of new beginnings or taking it to the next, uh, the next commitment level in regards to relationships. Okay. So your second card, Sagittarius, is the Magician. Wow. Okay. So in this reading alone, you guys have had three major arcana. So know and understand that that spirit letting you guys know that there is major transformation happening in your life at the present time. Do not overlook or do not ignore the signs. Pay very close attention to them because I feel you guys are going to be very spiritually inclined or spiritually guided for the month of June. Now the magician card signifies having all the tools on your table uh, to be able to actually create or to change the type of life that you have or have had up until now. The magician also signifies being able to hone your own energy or your own power. If you've had a tendency of uh, being more being more submissive uh, in regards to the people that you deal with, in regards to relationships, in regards to not really speaking your mind when you're supposed to, with the magician card and the death card, there's definitely that type of energy of uh, speaking up for yourself and standing for yourself, having that self-empowerment type of energy. Very beautiful, beautiful uh, Sagittarius. So your next card here is the Page of Pentacles. For some of you guys, it's going to be major transformations in regards to dealing with a child. Um, if you guys have a child of an earth sign, could be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. doesn't have to be that sign. It could just take on the qualities of the Page of Pentacles. And I feel that the Page of Pentacles, out of all the pages, it's the most mature type of energy. This is a child that takes on more responsibilities than they should, or that usually tends to act like the parent, the mother figure, or the father figure. Um, if for some of you guys, uh, you guys have been dealing with alcoholism or any type of drugs, addictions, or anything like that, know and understand that you're teaching that to your child. And it's time to have self-reflection and to really look into your actions because this young child, although very mature for their age, um, you're pretty much teaching them. So be mindful about that and understand that whatever it is you're bringing that child around, uh, your child is definitely growing and seeing that 
and you basically are letting them think that it's okay to be around that or that it's okay if they put up with that because it could be either you Sagittarius or it could be the person that you're dealing with. Um, so just keep that in mind. See, okay. So you have here the shadow side of Sagittarius. So the shadow side is basically what I just explained to you. I did not see any other cards that spoke about addictions, but I definitely did feel very, very strongly um, that there was some type of addiction going on. And again, with the shadow side, the shadow side is a representation of the devil. So there is definitely, it's basically going within. There's major transformations happening for you guys and manifestations coming through. If for some of you guys, you've been waiting to hear about a job or something like that, the job is definitely coming through and being offered. Nonetheless, again, with the shadow side and the page of pentacles, I feel that for a lot of you guys, it could be that you're currently dealing or have been dealing with a partner that perhaps some, has some type of addiction and you're coming to the realization or understanding that it's either they change or you need to walk away from that because it's not helping you whatsoever. Um, so again, like I said, if you have been in fact waiting for an offer or you applied and have not heard back from them, there is definitely an offer that's being put on the table for you as we speak. So again, keep that faith up and be strong. And again, like I said, at uh, the beginning of the month is always major possibilities. Put your intentions out there and make things happen for you, Sagittarius, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, lecture, and comment. If you have not subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.